Hi, coaches. One of the things I wanted to do this season was get better at running the classic wing T down play. And part of that was just making it a focus within practice. And we've done some interesting things with uh, some kind of short yardage uh, goal line uh, reps with the play because we want to we want to play that we know we can get three yards on. And down was going to be that play for us, to, for us this year. So what did I change? Well, I, I kind of went back to basics and I reviewed uh, some of the core rules in, you know, in, in Tubby Raymond's book and went to Denny Crean's book and made some small adjustments based on how I was taught to run down. And I, I, I was taught to block down a little bit differently at the flank. And if you look here at the, uh, if you look here at the, the rules that you see um, for the tight end, and you can see it right down here, down, backer, away, safety. I had always blocked it with a gap down rule and not a down backer. And what that means, it's pretty subtle, but it's important. What that means is that I would have had, if you look at this example of a defensive end with an inside shade on our tight end, we would have had the defensive end, uh, we would have had the tight end blocked down on that guy. And instead, if you, if you really look at the way this play is supposed to be run, you should, that's the guy you should be trapping. And you should instead have that tight end you know, rip under or over that defensive end and go straight on that downhill inside path to go to backer. And what I like about this is that it's a better, for, for me, it's usually been a better matchup between that trapping guard and a defensive end, especially if he's trying to get straight up field. And we find that trap a little bit easier. It also gives us uh, one or two blockers on that, on that middle linebacker, as you can kind of see here. We can often get both the center and the tight end through. And there's also some small changes we've made against some different fronts with our wing back. Um, in this case, against maybe a 4-3 look, we're going to be pretty normal with it and have the Z essentially follow his rule, which is uh, backer away uh, safety. And, and that he, he's essentially looking for, he's looking inside to find the first backer. So he's never going to block a man on the line, unlike Buck. So he's going to also ignore this defensive end and go straight for a backer. All right, we, we don't run down option. We run the down sweep uh, in our playbook. We call it Bill. And so our halfback and quarterback are just doing a fake on that bill sweep. As you see here, we still have some problems. We, we might have a strong safety and a cornerback still play side, which you know might make it hard for this play to break open. But in a little bit, I'll talk about some things we do to even solve that conflict. But let's look at some video, and I'll show some film of us running this kind of with a normal front um, with this style of blocking. All right, here we are running the down play, and you can see based on our rules that the guard's going to kick out that stand-up DN, tackles blocking down on that D lineman, and the tight end is going to go find another backer. And things go pretty well here. The guard, you know, maybe shouldn't have kicked out that guy that was coming way upfield, but, you know, I'll take it. And that was pretty good block from our wing back. Also, so that's basically what the normal front with the blocking would look like. Okay, so what are some changes we've been able to make this season uh, with our with our line? And and I wanted to mess with some unbalanced lines and see how opponents would adjust to that. And what I'm finding at the youth level, and I coach eighth grade, is that it's really difficult for teams to see this, and unless they've prepared for it, you know, coached up their linebackers and interior D linemen you can get some pretty amazing bubbles on the defensive line when you go on balance. So this is a formation we call right over Tubby. And I think I got Tubby from Rick Stewart. I think that's his term, which is really just a, a tackle over. So we, we've been flipping our line. So we pull our quick tackle over um, outside our strong tackle, and we really don't change the rules at all. So the quick tackle comes over, and his rule is still going to be gap down backer. Our tight end, his rule is going to still be that uh, down backer, meaning that he's not going to block anybody in the gap. He's just going to look down on the tackle and see if there's a guy heads up. 
And we, by the way, we make a call with that next tackle inside the tight end. We're going to make an on, on, on call if there's a man directly heads up or off, off, off. And if it's off, then the Y knows that he's going straight to backer. Against a front like this where we have uh, a, a man that's going to be on or inside the tight end that we're trapping and we have another outside linebacker, so maybe a, a 6-2 look like you're seeing here. Uh, this could even be a 4-4. Four, four. I don't really, there's not much of a difference other than are those guys on the line or maybe back off the line. And we'll, we'll actually turn the Z outside on him. Z is our wing back. So we'll turn him outside instead of blocking in. And that's kind of a game-by-game -game adjustment that we might make. Uh, just because even, even though down should run inside enough of that defensive end, uh, a good outside linebacker or DN there can still make that play. So why not block him? Because we've got, we feel like we're going to have a good double team on that play side linebacker. Um, and as always, we, the, the backside from the center back, we're going to, we're going to scoop through, uh, you know, with basically a reach or zone step to play side and go to that second level. Although we do tell the center, if there's a hard, if, if there's a blitzing linebacker coming to play side A, or if there's a hard um, slant from a nose that we will um, we'll go ahead and block that man. But definitely the backside guard, he's going to get to that next level and go right for a, for a backer. Doesn't always work, but that's our, that's our goal. So let's look at some film from this as well. So here we are with the unbalanced line, and you'll see that we've got a really, really wide surface to the right of our center. And their defense is not adjusting at all. You can count guys on each side of our center, and you'll see basically that there's, I count, five on the weak side. And if you count that safety, you could even say six if you kind of want to look inside guard. And that means you're only going to have five play side. And there's nobody even anywhere near our tight end, um, which means we're going to have a pretty free um, run through if we can just down block those defensive linemen. And we have a lot of choices on how to block that outside linebacker. Our wing back is going to take that path first to block him. And then the guard you're going to see just comes up field and pretty much is, ends up being a lead blocker with no need to kick out. He's not as quick on this as he should be, uh, but it didn't really matter because the unbalanced line really put them in, in conflict. All right, let's talk about a drill that we run with down. And I... I stole this from a single wing coach uh, for running power, and they call it power hour. And it really expresses the kind of the authority we want to have with this down play. And it's a kind of drill that, you know, whether you might run this with trap, you might run it with buck sweep or down, or you might have a blast type play. And what we do is uh, we'll... We'll take about 10 to 15 minutes, so we don't do it for a full hour, but 10 to 15 minutes, and we'll start with our first offense, and we'll run our opponent's defense, something that we think would be run on a goal line. And we're going to repeatedly run this play from the three-yard line with the goal of scoring a touchdown every time. And we'll start to do some things such as bringing more defenders over, because we, you know, I've got, I might only have 20 to 23 kids practicing at a given practice. So we'll start to bring... Our, all of our defenders over and try to hold every gap and see if we can still exert, you know, kind of the authority of this play and get our three yards and score the touchdown. And we'll run it over and over again with multiple reps. And it just, it really helps reinforce um, our blocking rules, uh, sustaining our blocks, making sure every man's accounted for, as well as getting our running back, you know, with two arms over the ball kind of a downhill push and kind of driving to get that goal line so that we feel like we've got a play that we can trust to get, you know, if we have a fourth and one or if we run, want to run this as a two-point play, we feel like we can get this in. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. Maybe these tweaks and, and adjustments might help you out as well. And uh, good luck if you're uh, still going this season. And I hope you play through November and even December and have a great season. Take care.